What's up guys, it's Boaz here and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Ultimate Team on FIFA 14. So first of all, thank you ever so much for 2,500 likes on the previous episode. If we can smash another 2,000 likes today, I will get another double upload uploaded for you guys today as it is a Saturday. So the first thing we are going to be doing then with all the players that we do have left in our club, you know, we opened a lot of packs in the previous episode. I did go and sell all them and that did leave us with 8,000 coins. So I did spend all of those coins and as as you can see we have brought in a lot more players we have bought new seven players and the two strikers that I've decided to go with for the start of this series is Wilfred Bonnie and Demba Bar up front now personally I think they're absolutely outstanding players you can see the prices that I bought each and every one of the players for on your screen now at the center attack and mid position we have Sigurdsson I mean I bought him for 7,000 500 coins. I have him in my main account, Barclays Premier League squad, and he is an absolute animal. On the right-hand side, I did pick up Downing for only 500 coins. In the centre defensive mid position, we do have Joe Barton, who we did get in uh, one of the packs I'm just going to be using, simply because he's English and he is um, in the second English league. Um, and the two centre-backs that we're going to be rolling with for the start of this series is Diakite and Colo Torre. Simply for me, again, they are my two main centre-backs in my main account uh, on the squad that I do have my Barclays Premier League squad and they are absolutely unreal. The strength and the height between them both are absolutely are unbelievable. I mean, Diakite, you can pick him up for a ridiculous amount of coins um, and he does have 94 strength and he is 6 foot 4 so he's ridiculously tall and that strength and the size of him from literally headers, corners, everything that you do have he is a massive threat to your opposition's defence. So going straight into our first game then you know we have uh, 12 of the 13 completed manager tasks completed and that does mean that we only have to play one game online and that does mean that once we get that completed we do get another free pack because we have completed all the manager tasks so we do go into our first game here then uh, the squad didn't look too threatening I mean it did look uh, as if he was new to ultimate team and look at this I mean I could not get the ball into the back of the net to save my life but luckily Joe Barton came up and managed to smash it into the back of the net to give us the lead in the 21st minute and then this happens I mean EA I fucking hate you. Can you please make a game that works? It's my first game on this account online and I do get disconnected from the EA servers. Now that is due to the fact that I did get dis disconnected from Xbox Live so technically I'll let EA off on this one. It was Xbox's fault for kicking me off Xbox Live and because of that I got kicked off the EA servers. Uh, but that did da uh, that did knock down my DNF which is an absolute kick in the ass. Um, and that is going to be affecting our up and coming game. So we do have to replay our first game on... Um, now even even though it did count as a loss, in the manager task it did, it did count it as a not a game played. So we are still waiting to complete that final manager task of play a game online. So we do head into another game here. And this game was an absolute thriller. Now we did go straight into it and look at this. Header, Shamak, 5th minute, absolute aids. The start to a game that you no one wants. I mean you never want to go onto a game when Ultimate Team can see straight away but as I was saying about Diakite from corners his height and strength is absolutely unbelievable so it wasn't long between he was going to be getting on the score sheet and he did get an equaliser for us Boney there then hitting the post now one thing you'll notice about Bonnie however you want to pronounce him I'm just going to pronounce him Bonnie for the sake of this series but I know a lot of people pronounce it otherwise I have never played with a player that has hit a post or a crossbar as much as Bonnie I mean it is absolutely unreal the amount of times he does do it in fairness I do pick up a lot of the rebounds but you know it's extremely annoying when you're playing with a player um, and all he seems to do is smash the uh, crossbar or the post but uh, despite the amount of times he does hit the woodwork my god you can see here he's fine in the back of the net I mean um, Bonnie's actually going to be picking up his first hat trick there. That is his first hat trick already. His first 90 minutes online, and look at that strength there. Unfortunately, my opposition centre back did think that uh, he was going. I don't know if he thought he was going to be winning that challenge or he was just uh, happy to take the red, but he did give me a penalty that I did want to stick Denver Bar on the end of that penalty, and he did bury that in the 86th minute to get on the score sheet there. And then Bonnie here, I mean, he is so e the strength he does have whenever he runs past your opposition's goalkeeper, um, the goalkeeper is no way going to be bringing him down. I mean, you can see here, he does pretty. He pretty much just skips past my opposition's goalkeeper. And even if the goalkeeper does try and put in a challenge, there's no way he's going to be bringing him down with the strength that Bonnie does have. Now, that is one of the main influences as to why I did go for Bonnie and Demba Bar. I mean, Demba Bar's got 88 strength, and I believe Bonnie's strength is in the 90s something. And he also does have absolutely insane heading. I mean, Bonnie's heading is 86. But nonetheless, that is, that's why I chose those two strikers to be my starting Premier League strikers. But anyway, that win there, then our first win in the series did mean that 
we did go and complete the manager's task. We did open that pack you saw there. It was absolutely useless. We have gone and sold everyone that we did get in that pack. And we did go and pick up our first signing, Butchie. We did pick him up for 800 coins. And that does mean that he does fit nicely into our squad. I mean, it's not completed. The uh, whole starting 11 isn't complete yet. But uh, as we pick up these uh, results in these future games that we are playing here, we are going to be picking up as many uh, starting 11 players as we can get into our squad as possible. So straight into this game then. Uh, the first goal does come from Sigurdsson. Now, as I was saying about him, you can pick him up for under a thousand coins. And he is honestly one of the best centre attacking middle players that I've ever played with um, on Ultimate Team at the minute. He's absolutely unbelievable. He is the player that I do have on my main account and I absolutely love him. Boney here then getting on the score sheet again in the 45th minute. That does mean that we are going to be going into the half time dressing room. Um, I believe that is at a 3-0. And you can see from the stats there, I've had three shots on target and my opposition has had none. But look at this for a red card. EA, how is that a red card? I felt so bad for my opposition here that he had got a man sent off from a challenge. I've concluded the replay here. Personally, I think that's a brilliant challenge. He clearly wins the ball. Yes, he takes the player, but he picks up the uh, ball first. So I think that should never have been a red card. But look at that for a goal from Bonnie. What is that? That must be about 40 yards. He had space. He absolutely smashed it. And it did take a bounce just before it reached the goalkeeper. But look at that. Bottom corner, absolutely brilliant goal. But then look at this. That, in EA's eyes, is a yellow card from behind the player. In fact, no, it wasn't, it wasn't even a yellow. That is absolutely ridiculous. I've included the replay in again here. The player comes sliding in from behind my player, doesn't even touch the ball, takes both legs of my player, and yet there is no card given. Yet two minutes ago, we saw almost a perfect challenge in the laws of football, and it was given a red card on FIFA. So anyway, I'll leave that to EA. If EA think that's uh, a, really, a fair foul in FIFA, then I guess this is just a completely broken game. But anyway, this game does end at a 5-1 victory. That does mean the two games that we have played in this episode we have picked up six points for that and that does mean that we will be able to get the promotion in the next episode now unfortunately for me as soon as the final whistle went my xbox well my xbox didn't freeze fifa 14 froze my xbox uh, but luckily for me when i came back on my record was still at four wins zero draws and one loss and you can see here all the players that we did list at the beginning of the episode have all sold and that does mean that we have over three and a half thousand coins to pick up some new signings in the next episode so you can see here then Wilfred Bonny absolute animal he's only played three games for the club already and he's already got eight goals under his name he's an absolute animal but that is all for this episode so I hope you have enjoyed it if you have then please do leave a like if we can smash 2,000 likes this evening I will upload a second episode as soon as that does happen but um Wilfred Bonny he's an absolute animal he is going to be picking up as many goals as possible in this uh, series that you're going to be seeing on my channel but anyway as I said I hope you have enjoyed this episode if you have then please do leave a like if 2000 likes is smashed this evening i will upload a second episode for you guys and until my next one i'll be speaking to you guys later take care